I wanted to wait a bit before making this video just to see where everything went, and the whole thing has been crazy. So there was a topless meta on Twitch. You probably heard the term, so let me just take you back to the beginning. Back to, I guess, December 5th when this whole thing really blew up. Look, if you're under the age of 18, click away from this video. Well, I did more due diligence than Twitch ever does. So Twitch as a whole, uh, they're really lax on regulations, and I feel like if you get banned for stuff, if you're a big enough streamer, if you're a small streamer and you get banned, you're kind of fucked. But if you're a big streamer and you get banned, it's it's a few day vacation, you just come back the very next day. So this clip popped up. <laughs> Clearly, this is an R18 clip. Fuck? This is not a clip for what kids. You know, Twitch as a platform has a lot of, they have a lot of children and th th clips like this are on the front page. And of course, this is not the original clip. This is a react by Kai Sanat. So, you know, it is what it is, and I guess there's a reason why Kai Sinat is never featured on the front page. He does do content that would be deemed, I guess, advertiser unfriendly. Asian Bunny X, she's on, you know, she's she's around there. Sometimes she pops up. So this original video, I, I think in the past when people have played video games, uh, some girls wear very revealing clothing, but you can't get more revealing than just letting it all hang out. So of course this sparked some other copycats. Uh, Morg Pie, an another streamer, started doing this as well. What is this meta? So here is, you know, someone else reacting to it because I think the original clips, they're, they're not around anymore. Those VODs are done, they're cooked, they're, they're not on Twitch anymore. So really, if you want to find clips of what happened back then, you, you gotta find like reaction clips because the original clips just don't exist. But this, this was my reaction. It was like, how is this allowed? How is this allowed? This kind of stuff. Like, like how are they getting away with it? You know, well, they kind of, kind of didn't, right? So, Mork Pie and Asian Bunny X got banned a couple times, and then of course, after they got banned, they came right back on the platform and they did, you know, they did something even, even more raunchier. Uh, so this trend, like, outside of those two streamers, it, it started catching oh, on. A lot of other streamers are doing it now. This is crazy. <laughs> this is a public space. But I think in some you states it's allowed. The best. Oh, and there's copyrighted music music. So yeah, you, know, you know, like when something is getting popular enough and the top people on the platform get spanned, you, you think like, hey, maybe I shouldn't do stuff like that. But then even like, oh, even Laura, which is someone I haven't been following recently. Uh, I think she has OnlyFans now. It, it's crazy. She used to play video game music, very wholesome content, and even she's partaking in this meta this meta of just you know reveal as much as you can and see what you can get away with on twitch i don't think she's actually naked under here it looks like she has a black you know black bra some black underwear under there so, but it, but it looks nude enough right the blur makes it worse the blur makes it worse than it is and then it evolved into the black bar meta which is crazy <laughs> You, she, obviously, you could see the bra. You can see the bra. This isn't nudity. It's not. But it might as well be. This video is not gonna, it's not gonna make it past the week. I'm, I'm pretty sure this video is, it's gonna get cooked. I'm not even gonna monetize it. I don't wanna get in trouble, right? But I want you guys to see the <laughs> insanity that's happening over on Twitch. This shit is wild. But it's like, why? I can't. Why? Bro, I can't. But you are. So, so, so why are you doing this? The, the thing is, like, as a viewer, right, as a fellow degenerate, there is easily better stuff out there. Better stuff that's also free. So so why are people paying for this? I, I, I feel like it's it's like the imagination is stronger than, than the reality, right? Like, if, if this wasn't here, you would see it, and then you'd go, oh, that's neat. Cool. I'm out of here. But with this, you're like, oh shit, whoa, whoa, what's happening? Oh, there's chat. Like, like you're looking around, you're you're trying to, your your monkey brain's trying to process this. And then, why well, have only one girl on stream when you can have multiple? I mean, obviously they're not nude. If they walked up, they wouldn't be nude. They wouldn't risk it like that, right? Like all, all these people got banned, by the way, and then they're back on the platform. So they're not banned. They're actually not banned. Everyone involved here, uh, I think. Gen Fox and Mork Pie were the first ones to get banned, and then I, I don't remember what the what the actual timeline is, because um, this was this was a while ago. 
And then, oh my god, I'm sorry you had to fucking see this. But even the boys, the boys have gotten on this fucking tech Yo, tone with the, the black. Like, raise and jack their fucking shit off. Okay, like what the fuck is it? Twitch, now. what the it's fuck is this? Naked, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and of course, some streamers just go too far. So this is a clip of Boogie2988 who came back to try streaming and he tried this new meta. And he thought, hey, I have so much belly fat that it'll cover up and act as natural black bars for my junk in the trunk uh, down there, you know? Oh, there you Here's go. the clip from Asman's oh, channel. He's blurring it out. I, he, he did a great job. Woo, can't see nothing. Peter Griffin. Peter oh my God, I'm seeing his balls in the illusion channel. <laughs> and, uh, I, I think his balls showed and, you know, he got banned for it, which is, you know, that's the correct response. That's what they should have done to all the streamers. The, the fact that this topless meta has gone on as long as it did, is is a travesty it's it's kind of crazy but the second boogie does it you know <laughs> here comes the band well you know <laughs> you, you just you can't show the testicles man <laughs> i don't know if he broke the tos but they definitely should have banned him i mean they definitely should have done something about that man like that really didn't <laughs> need to happen disturbing shit right there that's just that's incredible man I mean, look, it's as disturbing as Mork Pie's shoulders. So it is what it is. <laughs> so in response to all of that, right? Twitch is like, okay, we're gonna ban everyone. We're gonna we're gonna ban all these like all these girls got banned. Everyone got banned in the meta. Um, a couple days after the the topless meta and all that, um, Twitch released a statement trying to con counteract this. But instead of like like going down on these content creators, Twitch effectively all they said was, hey, just mark your stuff 18 plus, mark it like adult, um, and we're going to allow you to draw boobies in the art section. So, of course, all the art started popping up. The art section for that day was cooked. It was just hentai everywhere. There were nipples, boobies, punani, everything. Everything was everywhere. So a day after that, they, they banned the art stuff. They went back. They basically reverted everything. Nothing happened. After that, the meta has died down. The couple bands going out did help. Um, if, if you look at the top high to low for just chatting right now, um, we're back to what it used to be. Some people talking, um, your basic face cam videos, talking heads, some people playing games in the section, some VTubers. So, so it looks like things are going back to the way it was. But the topless meta, meta was wild. And, and partly you want to talk about why that is. It's just... Twitch doesn't really enforce things. Um, it's it's just really expensive as moder like moderation as a whole is just very expensive. Ludwig did a great video talking about that. When you scale it up, it doesn't like if you have one person watching ten people, it doesn't make sense to hire ten people watching a hundred people because the content creation scales out of control. Because it's not just a hundred people on Twitch. There's a hundreds of thousands of like what, every month, like a few hundred thousand new streamers pop up on the platform, streaming to like one or two people or something like that. Whatever the numbers they are, like it's crazy amounts. Maybe I'm just pulling these numbers out of my ass. Maybe they're real. Who knows? But the reality of the situation is you can't moderate this many people it's it's easy to say hey just sit here with someone monitoring the front page they probably have someone doing that and then they went out on a coffee break and they came back and they're like oh whoa whoa what's going on that or it's like a third party moderation where twitch pays a company and they give them a, like a handful of guidelines and they're like hey ban ban these people or whatever it's it's all wild and i feel like a lot of other content creators are covering it day to day. I'm covering it at a much later time. I wanted to see how this whole thing evolved and changed before covering it. So my timeline's a little jumbled. I think going forward, I'm gonna try to make videos on this like each day as it happened. But it, it's just crazy that it existed. But for me, I realized that if you can't beat them, write hot sauce on your nipples. Oh, right. I, I do have to go topless today because uh, it's part of the, the Twitch meta prep. It. Yeah, you horn dog. Bad Levy. Someone get someone get the water bottle spray and go. <laughs> React topless. You want topless? You want fucking fucking fuckers? You want uh, you want topless? Uh, Twitch. Is this what you want? Twitch. Is this what you want? Uh, fucking Twitch. Uh, I can't compete with fucking Twitch. Uh, do I have to tag my stream? We're gonna be on the top of Twitch! We're gonna be the best streamer on the fucking platform! Oh Yeah, welcome to Topless Meta, boys! 
Welcome to Topless Meta, boys! We're fucking. Oh, no, we're topless! You guys are asking too much. You're my. No, I'm gonna microwave your ass and throw you out a fucking homeless person. I told you, I don't have anything here. I don't even have a marker. I, I literally have a pen that doesn't write on skin. You're throwing your subs away. Wait until I have the actual top topless stream. Permanent marker, here we go, find something. You, you act like I got honey mustard lying around. If it didn't come with KFC, I don't have it. All right, I got two packets of hot sauce. I want my, what What name? Do you want John or do you want Eggy 90? Eggy 90 5000. <sighs> oh, oh, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping. Oh, oh, it's dripping, oh, the hot sauce isn't good. Oh, I can't draw shit with this. Help, help. Oh, I can't reach the paper towels. How you got child? Cause I'm Asian, all right? Also, who the fuck writes shit anymore, all right? It's 2023. You put stuff in the, like, on your phone. Like, who, who the fuck writes shit? Oh, wait, it's upside down. Oh, fuck, I can't, you can't see. I'm telling you, ketchup would be better. Cause he said hot sauce. Cause I know this motherfucker. He wants me to get the hot sauce on the nipple so it fucking burns. This fucking guy thinks he's so slick. It's fucking backwards. I fucking wrote the E backwards. Fuck! Oh my god, there's not enough hot sauce. Oh, uh, I need more. Habanero, uh, Yucateca habanero hot sauce. I guess I'll mix it with the red hot sauce. Wow. Dude, the hot sauce plate looks like fucking Christmas. Yeah, you can show nip because you're- I'm a guy. Your name's so long, I gotta go to fucking- I gotta write in the fucking armpit, dude. I can't- God, the last E- I can't even see it! Oh god, the teeth fucked. Alright, 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 there we go, wait, do I have to turn off the light? There, Merry Christmas you fucking, fucking asshole.